check this out. Relax the arm, but make the fist strong, like a stone. Your arm is the rope, your fist is the stone. Start the punch from the leg, then the lower back, then shoulder, then finally the fist. That's the chain. What he's talking about is your arm basically being a ball and chain, right? And, you know, the, the fist, obviously, being that metal spiky ball in the gladiator days and that rope that goes round like that, that's your arm. You gotta think of punching like that, right? When you whip the shots in like that, you got to, it's a, it's a very, very, very high tech complex state of being relaxed to state of um you see when you throw a punch it is always done in cooperation with agonists and antagonist muscles those are the drivers and the breakers and in order for the punch to travel in a relaxed and fast and snappy manner the antagonists have to be relaxed and you have to teach them to be relaxed because once again it is not intuitive knowledge but i wanted to bring that in because i found it really interesting i found it very fitting because of uh, you know the the theme that I'm going with today, but I'm gonna do be, do more research on this the science of punching. You know, I study it quite hard. I really it really fascinates me, and I practice it quite hard. And I teach a little bit, you know what I mean. And, and but but the actual real science of it fascinates me. And obviously Tim Zhu, his um you know Russian background, right? His dad's Russian, Kostya. And actually, in Russia and the USSR, they were fanatics about science, right? And during the USSR, boxing was not merely a sweet science in the rhetorical sense, but an actual science. We're talking about professors dedicated to one singular sport, publishing encyclopedias of boxing. They had like professors and, you know, like just high... I said to say high tech, well, high tech, you know, you've seen that, um, the Rocky movie, <laughs> Drago 4, that was real. <laughs> that was real, they got all the high tech stuff, they've got, you know, the, the most advanced, like, ideologies regarding sports science back way in the 60s plyometrics i've told i said this before that was created in the 60s in russia ussr and they they were just like you know they had studies and stuff like that they really took it to another level so but that ball and chain you know, the way that tim zoo whips like some people have referred it to a slingshot right and in this shot that i'm showing you against fondora where he comes in boom like that <laughs> It's like a ball and chain. You're trying to throw the hard part of your fist, right? Or your, the hard part of well, your fist whilst keeping the chain and the rope loose and then tightening up right at the end. Amazing, fascinating. Anyway, this fight, let's talk about the tail of the tape really quickly because...